Yeah, hey, what's going on, guys? We're out here at Lake Arthur today. It's about 6.30 in the morning, um, pretty much late August. I think this is going to be one of the last times we get out fishing here for bass anyway for Ross as we transition into archery season. We, uh, it's going to be very hot today. I think it's supposed to get to a high of maybe, maybe around 92 degrees, but it was nice and cold last night. So what I'm hoping is that these bass are going to be uh, a little bit active this morning because hopefully that cooled down the water temp a little bit and maybe we can get a nice morning bite. So my dad, my Uncle Phil, and myself are going to be fishing here and uh, hopefully we can get uh, hooked into something. I'll give you an update once we get on the water as far as the clarity and the water temperature, but it should be a good day. And uh, stay tuned to the end of the video. I think I'm going to shoot my bow a little bit, like I said, just to transition into some some hunting action, so getting ourselves ready for archery season. All right, guys, um, we're about to start fishing. Water clarity uh, looks a lot clearer than normal. Uh, I'd say about five feet, four feet. Um, right now, the surface of the water temperature is about 79 degrees. So hopefully, we can hook into some bass. Uncle Phil got the first cast, and he's going to catch one on the first one. So be ready to see it. Alright guys, there he is. First one of the day. Not too bad. Caught him on the uh, black and blue Senko. Hopefully we can get a couple more. There's another one, this time on a uh, black and blue um, chatter bait. Nice bass. Number, yeah, number six, I wish. Number three, all the same size. Back to the uh, blue Senko. All right, guys, we're, uh, we're home. We got the boat put away. Uh, it was a slow day of fishing. I think we caught three bass, but still we had a fun time. But I think we're going to hang up the poles here for the summer and start to switch gears on my channel to some hunting related videos. We're going to start off as we speak right now. We're going to make sure the bow sighted in. So we'll be shooting here, getting some practice in. Uh, look for in the next couple weeks, I'm going to be posting some videos. We're going to hang some tree stands, trim out some areas. I'll take you along with us as we uh, do that. And then hopefully mid-September into October, we can get some deer on the ground. All right, there's arrow number one. Looks like it's right on the money. I 
Oh, 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 heart shot. It's not too bad for the first four arrows of the year. Uh, down here, we're just checking to see if it's sighted in, shooting about 20 yards. And I figure I'd shoot the last one at the deer and pretty much dead nuts. So if, if I miss, it's me, it's not the bow, because the bow is pretty much right on. Okay guys, uh, I'm happy with this last group, so I'm going to end on that and this final shot on the deer. Um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, stay tuned for uh, some upcoming videos. Like I said, we're going to be hanging some tree stands, and before you know it, we're going to be in the woods hunting some deer. Alright, let's go over what we caught the bass on today. The first and third bass today, I caught it on a wacky rig, and it was a Gary Yomamoto black with blue flake Sanko. And we had that wacky rigged, as I said, using the uh, wacky hook that has the protective uh, weed guard on there. Hopefully you can see that up close. And I also had that paired up with what's called an Eco Pro Tungsten Wacky Weight. Okay, and that's what this little thing is down here at the bottom. And it's pretty neat. What you do is you actually put that right through the worm, right through the Sanko. And this helps save save the worm because you're actually hooked into the weight with the hook. So this will make these Sankos last a lot longer by wacky rigging with those. I love those weights. I might actually buy a smaller size because this was a little bit heavy today and I wasn't trying to get down that deep so I might try to get a little bit of a smaller size weight but I love the way that thing works out. Um, this setup what we had is a spinning reel. This is a lose speed spin. It's a 6.2 uh, to 1 gear ratio and the model on there is the SG300. And I have that paired up with an Abu Garcia Cardinal 4000i. And this is actually a uh, medium action 6'6 rod. Next up, we caught the second fish today on a chatterbait. And it's a black and blue chatterbait. I have, uh, I'll show you the trailer here. And what it is, is it's a yum creature trailer. And I think that's in a green pumpkin. The creature itself looks just like this, but what I did is I actually ripped off the top portion and then I used that just right on the chatterbait itself via my trailer. There's the packaging those come in. Those seem to work out pretty well and I think I'm going to try Texas rigging these a couple times and just throwing them uh, as is rather than just using them as a trailer, but I like the way this worked out on that chatterbait. The Reel and rod combo that I used today was the Lose Speed Spool, it's the LFS. Uh, this is a 7.5 to 1 gear ratio, bay casting reel. And I have that paired up with the Shimano uh, Celis, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a worm and jig rod, uh, 7.2, it's uh, medium heavy with uh, an extra fast, t or extra fast tip. And um, very, very good rod. I use this for everything. I'll throw Sankos on this as well as, um, you know, chatterbaits and different things like that that I'm going to be reeling in. So this is a very nice setup. And actually, this was, you know, under $200. I think the reel itself is about $99. And I think I got the rod for somewhere around like $50 or $60. And uh, it's been a great setup and I love it. It's my fir first base, base casting reel. And like I said, it's been easy to learn on. And I really, really enjoy catching fish with this. So if you're looking to get into a, buying a bait caster, I would highly recommend recommend this one from loose that's it guys thanks for watching the video again give me a thumbs up and we'll see you next time take care